Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm Justin with Excel Smith, where our goal is to build better Excel users. On this episode of Solutions, we're going to explore summing every nth row. I've seen other solutions for summing every nth row, but they only work when the data begins on the first row of the spreadsheet. However, we can't always control the structure of our data. The solution in this video will sum every nth row regardless of the starting row. To build our equation, we will be using these formulas. I've included links to the Microsoft support pages for these formulas in the description below. I've also included the generic version of the final equation. Let's jump in and see how to sum every nth row. Our example data set contains three months worth of sales data broken down by region and product lead. Our goal is to create a grand total for each month. Given this data set is quite small, we could manually add each of the four regions subtotals. However, this approach isn't practical if we have a large data set. Additionally, there is no commonality for the regional subtotal rows that would allow us to use sum if. What the data does have is a repeating pattern. In this particular example, there are five rows between each region's subtotal row. This means we can build a formula that adds every fifth cell beginning with the north's subtotal. As mentioned earlier, there are solutions that allow summing every nth row, but they require the data to begin on the first row of the worksheet. The solution in this video will allow us to sum every nth row regardless of the starting row. The only requirement is that the data has a set number of rows between the values of interest. Let's move the current results down a row to use as a comparison with our new formula. The new solution is built around row and mod. It's important to note that this is an array formula. This means we must press Control, Shift, and Enter when submitting the formula. Hitting only Enter will cause the formula to not work properly. Let's break down this formula by working inside out. This row formula consists of the range containing our data. In this example, that's D8 through D26. Evaluating the row formula returns an array of numbers corresponding to each of the rows in the range. In this example, that is 8 through 26. The mod formula returns the remainder when dividing one number by another. The first parameter of mod is the number you want divided. The second parameter is the value by which you will be dividing the first parameter. In our example, this is 5, which is the number of rows between our regional subtotal rows. When we divide 8, the first row of our data range, by 5, the number of rows between our subtotal cells, we get a remainder of 3. When we divide 9 by 5, we get a remainder of 4. Divide 10 by 5, a remainder of 0, and so on. When we evaluate the mod formula, we get a repeating pattern of 3, 4, 0, 1, and 2. These results correspond to each row within our data range. Moving to the right side of the comparison, we again have row and mod. In this portion of the formula, row is set to the first cell in the set of cells we are interested in summing. Again, the second parameter in mod is 5, which is equal to the number of rows between our regional subtotal cells. Evaluating this row mod equation results in 1, which is the remainder after dividing 11 by 5. We now have the comparison set up for our if statement. The comparison returns true wherever the value in the array on the left side of the equal sign is equal to 1. Next, our if statement returns the value of the cells corresponding to true and an error when false. We now have an array of numbers and falses within our sum formula. Evaluating this, we receive 5,735, which is equal to the total we received when manually summing each region's subtotal row. This formula works when there are exactly five rows between the cells we want to sum. However, the formula breaks when we have a different number of rows. For example, Let's say that each region hires a new product lead. This results in six rows between the regional subtotal cells. Since the formula is expecting five rows between these cells, we get the incorrect total. We could, of course, update the fives in the mod formulas to be six, but this is not very scalable. Instead, we can modify the equation to dynamically determine the number of rows between the cells we would like to sum. We achieve this by replacing the second parameter in mod with an equation using count and row. The range within the row portion is set to the cells between the first region subtotal up to and including the second region subtotal. In this case, that is cells D13, the cell following the first region subtotal, through D18, the cell containing the second region subtotal. Next, we use count, which gives us the number of rows in the range inside row. In this example, that's 6. 
By adding this functionality, the overall formula can now accommodate any range of data with any interval between the values we want to sum. This means it can easily flex to the needs of your data. To summarize, the first row formula takes the entire data range. The next row formula takes the range of cells after the first value of interest up to and including the next value of interest. The first row formula following the equal sign takes just the cell containing the first value of interest. The last row formula, like the second, takes the range of cells after the first value of interest up to and including the next value of interest. Lastly, the true parameter of the if statement also takes the entire data range. That's how to build a scalable, flexible solution to sum every nth row. As an added benefit to this formula, since the if statement evaluates to numbers and errors, we could use it to perform other calculations by simply replacing sum at the beginning of the equation. For example, we could replace sum with average or count or standard deviation. Just remember to submit the equation as an array formula by pressing Control, Shift, and Enter. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Also, leave a comment below if you have an example where you've had to perform an action on every nth row. Thanks for watching!